Greetings in Jesus' name. Last uh, Thursday night, I went to a small group and we watched the movie, Do You Believe? I challenge you to get it and watch it. But, as you know, I walk around this cross all over, four meter cross, and um, many people see it. But many times when I speak to people, I actually do not have anything to give them, to leave with them. And in this movie, the cross plays a very important role um, as the main focus of the actual movie. And in this, in this movie, there's the little crosses that this pastor made or had made. And, uh, wow, well, all I can say is it really touched people's lives in many ways. And all of Friday, I said, Lord, I just felt the Holy Spirit leading me to make little crosses. And I wasn't sure how to do it, although I do carpentry, uh, all my stuff is in storage. And uh, I went to the local hardware store, I found some old pallets in the, uh, outside the caravan park here, I stripped them, and I asked them to cut it up into strips of, for me. And the reason I'm showing this for you is to you is because I believe that many people just need to have something in their hands to make an impact on others, and this can, because the cross does make an impact on anybody's lives. All you do is you just ask somebody does carpentry to, to cut little strips, five millimeter thick, doesn't matter on the thickness of the plank, more or less that, it can be a little bit smaller, cut it into sizes like this, the cross size, like that, and then all I did is, I wasn't sure what to, to use, all I did is, I, uh, just took some elastic, elastic bands, put a little dab of glue on there, put it on there, put the elastic bands on, and you end up with a little cross. You can write on something that you want. I, um, I wrote on there, He is risen, because that's the theme of our outreach ministry. He is risen to remind people that Jesus has risen indeed. He is risen indeed. That is our ministry. The size of the cross is small, as you can see from our glasses. They're very small, easy to carry. You can keep them in your handbag, ladies. Uh, guys, you can put it in your back pocket, put one or two in your car dashboard. And wherever you go, just pray and ask the Holy Spirit to take you to somebody that you believe needs to see this. I want to tell you something. Yesterday when I walked to Musenberg, and the Holy Spirit said to me, that person needs to get a cross. When I walked up to them, and gave them this, just the way they were touched. <laughs> wow, I've got about, um, I think 40 or 50 left. I made about 100. I gave some out to the church people, challenged them with that as well. And I challenge you to make a small, small thing. Remember, it's the small things in life that count, not the big things. It doesn't have to be perfect. The cross was never perfect. It's just a simple piece of wood that can change the lives of people. Remember, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish, but will receive a free gift from eternal life. Have a blessed day today. If you need prayer, go to our website. The domain is on the screen here. And leave a prayer request that we'd love to pray with you. Have a blessed day. In Jesus' name. Amen.